Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Yeah, so do we, we need to touch on the ATF thing. We need to, I know, you know, it's probably not what you guys want to talk about. I haven't. On a Monday, but it just I, dropped. I know about it. I, I heard about it. As soon as you mentioned this points thing. They love that little points thing. Yeah, you know, that, that's point how you. System. That's how they bring in. That's how they bring my, in sporting arm. They have to have certain my favorite. Of points. My favorite thing about the point system, and for anybody that that has ever played a um, an RPG, even a tabletop paper and pen RPG, knows that there are negatives. When you come to point systems, you could always have negatives added in, so it brings the points back down. No, they only have positives in their point system, so. You can only go downhill, and you only have a possibility of four points before it becomes an SBR. And anything counts as... Oh, they, yeah. the point system just had me mad. That's yeah, so let say. me... Um, there's a couple of different There's a couple of different articles. Let me see. I'll pull up the one that uh, John Crump did on MLN News. Shout out to John Crump. He says a it, the headline is, ATF released new proposed pistol brace rules. Uh, on Monday, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives released this proposed rule on pistol braces. Um, Speak of the devil. Uh, the wait, chat. is he in the chat? Okay. He's yeah. Content. If he wants to come on and talk about it, he can use the same link that he's used before um, to, to come on here and explain it to us. If he has time, I don't know. But it starts by saying that any brace that the manufacturer intends to be fired from the shoulder will be considered a short barrel rifle. And that's... None of them. None of them are considered are are made by the manufacturer to be fired from the shoulder. Otherwise, they'd be they'd be uh, they wouldn't be pistol stock. braces, you know? Yeah, they'd be stock. Yeah, yeah, so they'd if... be stock. What? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But here's what the so the document reads: Given the public interest surrounding these issues, ATF has proposed to amend the definition of rifle. This is bold. Now they want to change the definition, you know, to include a pistol brace. Yeah, respectively by adding a sentence at the end of each definition. No, no, no. The new sentence would clarify that the term rifle includes any weapon with a rifle barrel and equipped with 15... Um, equipped with 15 and attached stabilizing brace that has an objective design features and characteristics that indicates the firearm is designed to be fired from the shoulder as indicated on ATF worksheet 4999. So here's the point system. One point... Uh, minor indicator, the weapon could be fired from the shoulder. Two points. Moderate indicator, the weapon may be designed and intended to be fired from the shoulder. Three points. Strong indicator, the weapon is likely designed and intended to be fired from the shoulder. Four points. Decisive indicator, indicator, the weapon is designed and intended to be what fired. What the f is over? What, you, what, you, what did you just read? <laughs> you you read, should you read, see. No, no, you, no, you, no. Read, you read. You read nothing. You should see what the point system that they lay out. It's not like a couple of small things. They have a chart. Let me pull up mm -hmm. the chart so I can read it out to everybody for the points. And what, what, so everything what, 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 is... Uh... Go ahead. Sorry. I was just going to yeah. say, everything's based on a point between zero and four. Mm -hmm. And anything over oh. a four in section two or section three automatically turns it into a short-barreled rifle. Oh, and by the way, no. shotguns... Shotguns are no longer can no longer have a pistol brace whatsoever. Yeah, there is no according longer according to what they're trying to push. Shotgun. According to what they're yeah. trying so, to push. Yeah. So now, now there won't be the firearm. Yes, supposedly the really they might get rid of that. Yes, yes. Where was it up here? Uh, they have something specifically about those. Hold on. Yeah, you're looking. What are you looking in the PDF? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they had a because uh, I read through it specifically about the shotguns. Yeah, if you see if you find out what page it's on, let me know. I'm trying to load. It. First of all, I haven't had enough time to dig into this whole thing. Um, and even like I heard from FPC, they haven't had. Like, it takes time for everyone to dig through this and see what's going on. It's a proposal that's going up. Obviously, people are going to push back. They've null and voided the other one from the past uh, last year. That Here it they, is. The, the Criterion Workshop uh, Worksheet, uh, it's on page 11. Uh, it's right. the middle of page 11. This, these Criterion Worksheet do not apply to firearms with a smooth bore that use shotgun ammunition. These types of firearms, commonly referred to as pistol grip shotguns, were never designed to be fired with one hand, i.e. the Mossberg Shockwave or the Remington TAC-14, 
ATF has always classified these weapons as GCA firearms, not shotguns or pistols, as they do not incorporate a stock like a shotgun and are designed to be fired from one hand like a pistol. Thus, the addition of a stabilizing brace does not assist with single-hand firing, but rather redesigns a firearm to provide surface area for firing from the shoulder. So they're now telling you that, uh, that, that you can't have a pistol brace on a shotgun ever again. Yeah. There's uh, a lot of things that they've wanted to go after for... Um, so, uh, okay, you know, so time. getting into some of the point systems. Page 16, do you have that up, Hank? Um, 16, hold on, I'll get to it here. Um, John Crump says, by the way, uh, remember that they can still charge the company even if it's under four points. Um, so that's... Uh, <laughs> what's what's the point that... Because uh, I might have missed... John Crump's thing here. Um, do, 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 do. The, the points are infuriating. Yeah, by the way, he money, gave money, us money, 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 money. <laughs> John Crump Live says Patrick is right. So there you go. Because I actually um, read through it. When, it. when it popped up this afternoon, I read through mm -hmm. as much as yeah. I could. It's what like page? 87 page? pages. You want me to go to 14? 16. 16. That's the, uh, that's the requirements oh, that's... for the point system. Because that's the that really is the bread and butter. This whole thing is this point system. That's really what they're getting to. Yeah, um, and then Crump is saying, and it's insane. Yeah, Crump is saying so, that the SBA is mentioned, uh, you know, specifically as not being. Yes, they they yeah. they show it off. <laughs> and Crump Crump is wondering. Oh, I wonder who talked about that. <laughs> yeah, someone might. Oh, um, here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Page six. So, the weight must be at least sixty four ounces. So they, uh, they now say that 64 uh, ounces uh, is the minimum weight for a short barrel rifle. Uh, and it must be between 12 inches and 26 inches. That is now the minimum length, the, the length standard for a short barrel rifle. So then our point values. Uh, is it based for your accessory? Is it based on a, a current design? No? Okay. Does it incorporate shoulder stock features? Uh, is it based on a known shoulder stock design? That's what I was saying earlier. The rear surface area, does it incorporate features to prevent the use of the shouldering device? I don't know what that would mean. What, spikes or something? Like, what the fuck would you put back there to keep it from being shouldered? Uh, does it minimize rear surface lacking uh, features to discourage shouldering? Is it a rear surface useful for sh shouldering? Or uh, is there material added for shouldering? What? Adjustability, does it move? Does it fold? Uh, counterbalance designs, non-folding and folding. A uh, thin type with an arm strap, cut a uh, cuff oh type with God. an arm strap. <laughs> so, e e every, it's everything that they have approved in the past. It's before, yeah, every absolutely that they've approved. Yep, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, anyways, I was going to back say, go cut through the chase and get all this stuff done. Mm -hmm. um, so, when are we rewriting the '68 Gun Control Act and passing it through Congress and signing it and do all that stuff? And blah, 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 blah. When are we? They're, tr that? they're yep. trying to de facto do it here without actually passing. So this is the problem with all of this, right? They're trying to rewrite well, that. That's what they said in the in the in the uh, hello. In the yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so 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 what you're what what you what we all what they're saying is none of those laws are are any, are any good. They don't mean it. None of that stuff means it. It's whatever they think and whatever they whatever yeah. They, you know, yeah. I don't. I don't. There's nobody that's going to rein them in. Who's going to rein them in at this point? If Congress won't do, shit, they just sit on their hands. No, Nobody's going to rein these people in. I, yeah. I, you know. I, I've never understood why they thought the ATF thinks they are. They have to. They God. have to think that they are. Uh, uh, there to. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't think you could put it better they're, than what Walt's saying. They're, they're yeah. God. They think they think they know what's good for you. Mm -hmm. And yeah. and and you know, let's go back to the, everything. Do you think any of these criminal types give a fuck about ATF's rules? No, no. I mean, let's no, no. You know, no. Yeah, if I have they ever given just... it about ATF's rules? No. I'm just gonna no, take so... a hacksaw, do a shotgun. I don't care what sort of danger. If I'm killing somebody, I don't care what I do with the gun. What's it matter to me? Yeah. You know? Laws? I, I, I think I, I'm breaking. I, I'm breaking the worst laws. Might as well I, keep I, going. I, I've seen non-criminal people do the exact same stuff. They don't give a f about ATF. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, Jason you know, Saint Pierre gave us five bucks. Thanks. Money, 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 money. <laughs> Money. Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, M. Gabriel says uh, the SBA three is out. Per example, number two. Yeah. So and yeah, Kath, um, yeah, yeah. Once again, this is more of the same crap. For do you, do you understand why people don't trust anybody in government as far as they can, yeah, you know, mm-hmm. for anything? Mm-hmm. Because their word no, means nothing. Their, their word means nothing. This isn't. So they, they they tout this as like, oh, we're just clarifying what's there. We're just clarifying. Right? So all to clarify. There's no winning from the from the gun owner side. This is and just wait, what, to make you a felon. That's it. What what you read in their little points thing there, nothing you're gonna have you're gonna have nothing. Because well, that's everything adds up. Every, yeah, that's everything what adds up. It don't matter how you do it, how you look yeah. at it, how you bend it. The only thing you can get away with is that you, you can four, Walter during this four tribute, points. All you have to have is four points on either of the two main sections. That's nothing. That's like, this, if they would have done like ten, I would have been like, oh, that's. But it's like all that. subjective. But still, it's all subjective stuff. Exactly. Um, exactly. Yeah. It has. And it so, means nothing. What's it matter if it has a so hand stop? If I figure that the the weight thing during the the first assault weapons ban, they had a weight limit of I think fifty something ounces for a for an AR. For you can make a pistol. That was their weight thing back then. So. Mm-hmm. um one of the companies drilled one all out and got underneath the, got underneath the weight. And they hated it that. Like Swiss, it, it looked like Swiss cheese, but um, they did it, you know. Or you couldn't have a handguard on an AR type pistol. It had to be have no handguard on it, which they, the handguard was the evil feature, you know. And that's like what what I don't understand about any of this is the concept that they have is that a pistol is designed to be shot one handed. I don't understand where that comes from. Where where. All of us shoot everybody our shoots two handed with a pistol. Nobody so sees like it. it's 1920, you know? I... But if you shoot it two handed now, would you create a. Uh, yeah, exactly, a... exactly. exactly. I... Well, I so what they, what they were claiming stuff. there is that originally this was meant for people who were handicapped and otherwise incapable of, of shooting, and this allowed those people to shoot. The original things that they approved. But now they're trying okay. to say, well, people are trying to use this as an end run around, um, you know, the SBR laws. Um, and well, so, they, they, just huh? get rid of simple answer. Pull the get SBRs of, off the yeah. off the thing. NFA. They should um, SBR should not be in the NFA. I mean, There's this is. No- Ton, there's a ton of these of these pistol ARs out there, and what is the impact of that on there's, society? There's there no there reason isn't. why a 14 and a half inch AR upper on my lower makes me a felon, but a 16 is perfectly fine. There's no reason. There's yeah. zero reason. Yeah. So Nick Nick Rodriguez says, "I just jumped on here. Is this what the ATF wants to pass, or is this the new laws? Yes. No, no way, they, new laws. Yeah, they want they're, to pass." They're, 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 this is not right. passed. This is not like pass would would be saying that that it goes through Congress the way that a there's bill no is passing. supposed to. Yeah, there's they're no passing. they're Nick, making up rules Nick, this, which they're not supposed to be able to do. Go ahead, Walt. Sorry. They're they're, they're putting this out there, and you're going to get all excited and scream and holler about it, and they're going to do it. Mm-hmm. That's what's going to happen, Nick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's happened in the past. It's going to happen again. You you think they have political think cover now? Give a shit about what you think. They have political yeah. cover well, now. They have nobody that's going to stand up to them. Not that they did if, before. If, if this whole bunch got thrown out tomorrow, and the Republicans stepped in, Republicans are nutless. They do nothing. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, um, they, I they th- didn't do anything when they had power. They didn't do a damn thing. So they're not to do anything no. when they when they have the power again. So let me see. FPC, I think, just put out something. I'll just throw that up here real quick. Here, we'll take a look at what they're um, what they're saying um, today. Hold on, let me see. I can go this way. It'll be easier. Um, breaking FPC condemns ATS proposed pistol quote unquote pistol brace rule as another unlawful attack on right to keep and bear arms. Today, the Biden administration's Department of Justice officially released a notice of proposed rulemaking announcing yet another unlawful ATF rule to further attack and restrict the fundamental right to keep and bear arms. The newest rule targets pistol braces is an attempt to retroactively apply onerous national firearms act nfa restrictions and potential criminal liability to possibly millions of legally acquired and possessed firearms that are overwhelmingly used for lawful purpose and it goes on so um if you guys if you guys want to 
um, dig into that. Uh, we could, uh, you know, or... Um... There overwhelmingly uses range toys. Not that that matters. None of that matters. It's the intent behind owning it is nobody's business but mine. Yeah. <laughs> so but I don't what... even care what... That's a... That's a uh, but... Yeah. The dangerous combination of what's happening here is Biden deliberately puts forward someone who is clearly biased to sit on oh, the... Oh, God. The, as the, Have the you seen director his of interviews? the ATF. Have yeah. you seen the... Oh, he the dude can't even answer one question was, straight. You know, so I know the last time we talked about this, Walter said he didn't look at it, and I shared uh, Colion Noir took time and actually edited everything that was relative to uh, the Second Amendment and put up a video. I think it's 37 minutes long. It is all back crazy. <laughs> He's nuts. He's crazy, and yeah. he can't answer anything straight. No. So that's his. That's that's their guy. He's perfect. That's who. That that's is, who they want perfect. to put forward. Yes, that's who they want you, to put they, forward. They're not supposed to tell you what they're really thinking. They just tell you a bunch of bull. Yeah. Know, it's like, is that gonna? All, what I mean is, this is one of these one yeah. of these issues. Oh wait, Doctor Fauci. Like, Doctor Fauci is joining us. We got Doctor Fauci uh -oh. is actually dialing in here. <laughs> okay, where is he? Yeah. Oh, we got yeah. Doctor Fauci with a John Crump mask on is joining us. <laughs> Hello, uh -huh. I'm Dr. Fauci. Yeah. Remember, trust science. Unless the science says don't wear a mask, then don't trust science. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, have you been going through this ATF stuff since we got you here? What's yeah, you yeah. That's why I came on for really quick. Um, I okay. just want to make a couple points. Sorry, I'm kind of doing this on my phone. Mm -hmm. um, a couple points. One thing, uh, I went through um, a lot of the documentation. And for a pistol to be equipped with a brace and not be considered an SBR, the barrel, if once you kind of did some measurements, would have to be seven inches long. For, for it to not be You have be to do considered. a seven inch AR for anything <laughs> to become a pistol again. Yeah, because uh, the maximum length of a pistol, uh, it would be like a. It's 25, a it, seven inch barrel would pick you at 25 inches from the end of the buffer to end of the barrel so once you go 26 it's a rifle according to that to what they have proposed yeah mm -hmm. yeah okay. so even if that wasn't the case if you the point system is just so convoluted that basically nothing uh but they, i know they gave an example of a sb mini and later it was being uh, authorized in there right but once you put one thing on that rifle on the, I'm sorry, it would yeah. be a rifle. One, one thing on that, it would transfer into a rifle. So. Yeah, I saw stuff in there. And, any accessory. Yeah, I saw stuff because, in... I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. You got to remember, if you put flip-up sights on it, it's it considered... Yeah, if you put a red dot, they, because the red ATF... Dot two points. Yeah, ATF because doesn't know why you put a red dot. So it doesn't matter how you buy the gun, it's the state of how they find the gun. Yeah, right? they said a, a, red dot, uh, a red dot is not useful for pistols. <laughs> There's red dots on every single pistol right now, literally. I know. I know. Another thing that's also concerning is it says, well, even if you don't hit four and we think that you're trying to circumvent the NFA, we're still going to charge you. Yeah, but this is the this is the problem. How can so how does this have anything to do with the manufacturers? Even if the manufacturers build a gun that squeaks through and it's legal for you to buy it, now the ATF is trying to say, I can't put a red dot optic on my gun. What the f*** is that? Or I mean, fine. Yeah. It, or, fine. or I can't put flip-ups. Like, what What am I supposed to have, A AR pistol with nothing on it? <laughs> like, what's the proof? You port side, you point the bore side, you know, look down the bore. Oh, um, that's, that yeah, mean, basically, yes. So what if you put a red dot sight on a regular pistol? I, I don't know how this would affect yeah, pistols. What, yeah, what are the, this, it doesn't make, it's nonsensical. Well, if, you, if you put a stock on a regular pistol and you put a red dot on there, that would be, and not stock, a, a, a pistol brace on there, and like an SB3 on a regular pistol, it would be a short barrel rifle. Yeah, or since or it has a red dot, and you put like any. But listen, like, like, I have action. video somewhere of me with an AR pistol that has no, no. It doesn't have a brace or anything on it. It has just the old, you know, the old school, uh, pistol tube, right? Pistol buffer tube, and I'm cheek, and it has a red dot on it. Is that would that be? 
Uh, would that you would be foreboded? For that, right? Uh, you would get what is, two oh, points. This only count if you have a pistol brace. Yeah. So who? Yeah. So you? So the cops pull you over. Oh, we don't know. Now the ATF has to come in and start assigning you points. <laughs> Like are we, this is really where we're going in America with the well, ATF. I, 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 it's bizarre. I, I know, but uh... yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta remember that um, one thing that's kind of really bad is that the waiver of the tax stamp is only um, a, only an alternative, and the way it's being written, um, that's like, hey, we might negotiate on this, but right now you have to pay the two hundred dollar tax stamp. Yeah. But one one thing I did find, uh, I don't know if you guys caught this, but it says, um, if the uh, the gun owner can turn in the now SBR to the ATF free of charge. <laughs> Hell no! I can give away my two thousand dollar no. uh, pistol free of charge to them. That's good to know. Yeah. Yeah, they'll take um, it for your charge. You know, as a favor yeah. to you, the gun. Owners. I love it. What could you imagine them even considering a fee for that? It's a lot of craziness. A lot of craziness in this. Just like whatever's going on in your house. <laughs> My son. Yeah, I, I got to take all that for him too. All right. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.